Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Great Spirit Nation of the 144 Awakened in the Light. Happy Friday the 13th, the day of Goddess Freya, also known as Venus, as she aligns at 13 degrees of Aquarius, ushering in the new Golden Age of Aquarius. The Divine Feminine Goddess Energy is fully returned to our good people of Mother Earth, as all ground crew Earth Angelics are uplifted and elevated to a higher timeline and dimension of harmonic resonance. Our local Solaris released two more powerful M-Class solar flares and several C-Class flares today, sending more gamma plasma multidimensional waves directly from the Great Central Sun and Mother Father God of the Most High. The dragon and the dove fly together as the eagle and the condor to reunite all twelve tribes of the sacred hoop to rise together as the rainbow tribe of the new earth. United we stand for the rights of all sentient beings of the way to live in peace, prosperity, joy, and abundance in true equality on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Nothing can stop this great awakening and ascension process of Gaia and all her children of the sun. As warriors of the divine light, we walk the sacred path with heart, being connected to all things as real human beings of the Holy Spirit. We resolve all things here and now in the eternal mind of Buddha, in the Christ consciousness of infinite love and bridge the divine with the mundane to heal and transform this realm into the paradise she has always evolved to be. We rise in the truth of eternal life and transmit the echo of light into the void, activating the quantum field of infinite potentiality and step into the genesis of our divine birthright as eternal bliss consciousness. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release some very powerful codes. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 12 degrees, 25 minutes Libra. The sun is at 23 degrees, 40 minutes Capricorn. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 24 degrees Capricorn. A woman entering a convent. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 13 degrees Libra. Children blowing soap bubbles from astrologyweekly.com. Another 13 code of the goddess coming in. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron. Beyond bizarre energies today, awareness of all timelines, past, present, and future, all playing out at once, shifting through multiple dimensions at a rapid rate. What was anchored at the end of December, as one bandwidth collapsed, the new higher trajectory presented itself today to be fully anchored. Awareness of thoughts instantly turn to form manifestations one after another, seeing how others in present reality are co-creating with us to step into what already is. All week anchoring the new divine masculine template, today the feminine joined him in the ethers, where creation takes place, then manifests in the physical. As a collective coming out of the underworld frequency bandwidth we've been in for two weeks, artificial matrix dissolving, who we thought we'd rise with no longer are there, vice versa, master contracts versus karmic contracts, fully anchored today. And from Divine Broth or of the Light, Roberto Nunez, stay heart-centered and grounded, the sun is getting stronger and so are your spiritual abilities. 313, peace and harmony for all, pay attention to the signs. The demonstrations you set up will be quickly received. Your manifestations will reach you very quickly. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Isa, Coach and Spiritual Healing Engineer, 
There's a new energy coming in right now, an energy that has never been felt before. That of the world of oneness, and it is manifesting more and more. I just got the message that it's coming from the union of the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Today is a 1-13-2023 equal 12-3. One equal Divine Masculine, two Divine Feminine, together are three. Equal Higher Christ, Seed of God, Unification of Opposites in Love. With all my love, Isa Gabriel. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Marisa Mariposa. Number 13, Divine Feminine. Friday the 13th, a day dedicated to Freya and Venus. 13 is the master number of the Sacred Feminine. When Friday the 13th comes together, we have the opportunity to enjoy the Sacred Feminine energy, especially in its form of embodied radiance. From the 13 moon calendar used within cultures like the Cherokee, American Indian, to the 13 baktuns of the Mayan calendar of the long count, each baktun consists of 144,000 days, a number recognized as sacred in religious and spiritual teachings across different groups. To Magdalene as the 13th apostle, to the association of 13 with the planetary dance with Venus, Earth, and Sun, creating five petals on eight cycles for a total of 13. Every Friday the 13th is an opportunity to connect more deeply with an ancient yet perennial wisdom of the eminent divinity, that of the sacred that awaits awakening in the mind, body, and soul. And from divine bro throughout the light, Holgerer, Kirchhoff, you are divine perfection, manifested to radiate purity as quantum love light majesty. You are a Christ aligned divine love light cross within to enhance all of creation with your high vibe frequency of open hearted purity. In this golden now as purest source energy with all as one to glow. Your steering wheel is happy gratitude to flow in this golden now as majestic soul to glow. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Grandma Chandra, Friday, January 13th, 2023, is bringing the number 13 back into balance within numerology. 13 is a sacred number that is in two numeric positions. This is the next level of simplicity in sacred numbers. It is raising you up from the first row, numbers 1 through 12, into the second row of sacred numbers. The energetics of 1 and 3 together are unique because they combine the energetics of 1, which is unity and oneness, and 3, which is sacredness and trinity. This creates the calibration or balance of unity within the trinity. Think of it like top-level management combined with second-level management. The second level is closer to humanity. So the energy goes from the universe or almighty God down to the Father, Son, and Spirit to all elemental forces that are working with humanity. The number 13 is a connection tool that is connecting your angels and guides to unity with God. The unity with God is then going through these angels and guides to humanity and to Gaia. Hugs and love to all of you, Grandma, from GrandmaChandra.com. And from Divine Bro, Throw of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Energy Update, Friday, January 13th, 2023, a deep recalibration weekend. Dear friends, our sun has calmed down a bit, although not quite fully. There are still some moderate M-class solar flares erupting and some low proton streaming passing our planet but nothing compared to the X-class flares we had back-to-back -back a few days ago. The M-class solar flares can still affect some of you, especially those who are very sensitive to the solar activity or those who are recently awakening to this process of ascension. We are energy beings constantly flowing and fluctuating from one state into another. In fact, you may think that nothing is happening as you sit and relax, but in truth, we are always in motion and in constant communication with our surroundings and the universe. It is your awareness and intentions that dictate your field of perception, and solar activity is always affecting us in one way or another. Our sensitivity to solar flares also fluctuates through our lives, 
Some people may still feel intense symptoms with a moderate M-class flare eruption, while others feel the big X flares more intensely. We are all different and we are all in different stages of our soul's journey. All are valid experiences. I just had a migraine overnight after years of not experiencing one, but I know this is connected to a new deep alignment in my timeline and the release of old fears and inner limiting beliefs. It is common to receive spiritual epiphanies during and or after solar storms. These new realizations about yourself and your place in the universe are key for your individual journeys. This year, 2023, is a seven-year, a time that usually brings with it the awakening of spiritual wisdom and knowledge to the forefront. We will probably continue with some low to moderate sun activity in the next few days, so take advantage of this time window to focus on the next steps of your 2023 journey. But again, the sun may surprise us with a few more X flares soon. Please be patient with yourself if you are experiencing symptoms. Try to go within and search for the meaning these symptoms hold for you. The wisdom of your body will always find a way to give you an answer. Stay hydrated and rest. I'll continue posting updates as the energies keep rolling in. Energetically speaking, our next significant events this month will be the new moon on the 21st and the portal on the 23rd, 12323. 23. Meanwhile, enjoy co-creating a coherent and joyful timeline for your inner growth and evolution. Have a peaceful weekend and happy Friday the 13th for those who resonate with this day. Much love, we are one from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Releasing the Snake and Bringing the Plutonian Aspect in Christ. Message, the inner flows of the paths of orgasmic energy in the human system are to be cleared and freed from the snake that was using them for its own purposes. This is the dawn of the revival of orgasmic life in its natural essence, which is the actual true way of being for all living beings. The power of life and the knowledge of the living cell returns to the people. At the dawn of the Aquarian age of the free living energy and of the two who become one, we are being called to come together in order to perform a very important inner work. I have been sharing parts of the information on this process, which started unfolding after the return of the 5D Emerald Diamond of Wisdom and the Golden Living Spiral on the winter solstice. We are preparing for great inner revelations that will alter our perception forever and boost our awakening and coming into the self-process even more. We are all called to discern the snake from the living spiral in the self and bring restoration and alignment with the living spiral consciously. The Plutonian aspect is to come in Christ and it is also bringing great revelations about its true nature. This is very significant as the Plutonian aspect is connected to many different levels within the huge change, purification, awakening, and empowerment of the people that the Aquarian Age is bringing. The new kaleidoscopic twin flame code of the two opposite nines that was just introduced to us which is creating the new circuits of the oneness is actually the beginning of free energy and harmonious living pulsation for all humanity. Sexual energy is being purified and the sacred kundalini life force energy is being revived in us all. We are becoming orgasmic beings in communion with the light of the true life. And an important step of this process is the actual release of the snake which had hacked and interfered with human consciousness via the inner flow of the paths of the orgasmic energy in the human system and organism. Blessings of Empowerment, Erini. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sandra Walter. Blessings, Beloveds, the themes of 2023 are beginning to amplify already. Solar activity is ushering in new frequencies as well as the anticipated unusual symptoms of transfiguration. The January Presence event covered the 2023 themes, energies, trajectories, and best practices for this year of Revelation. The core themes are multidimensional. 
It is important that we utilize our expanded consciousness and open hearts to perceive these events, revelations, and activations with our higher perspective. You'll see the broader reach of these activities across the realms. Departing from the duality requires divine perception. Nothing is ever one way, one thing, one event. Unity consciousness will demand our higher skills this year. A new way of perceiving the whole, regardless of the external projection of density or separation. As always, we can be a stabilizing force without hindering the progress of global ascension. The influx arriving next week will jumpstart these themes. Remember the first three months, now through March equinox, can greatly influence your trajectory. Take action on your highest choices and changes in the direction of your desired outcome, now. For the moment, here are the themes provided in presence for our awareness and ascension process. Inversion Collapse In brief, the energetic cause of reversals Forces that try to prevent the ascension will be dismantled. These are ancient distortions, so anticipate everything from magnetics to earth changes to systems being affected by this release, both internal and external. Density of information, it may feel more dense as the light levels jump and distortions collapse. There will be a lot of information in the field revealing itself, both positive and negative. Choose your focus and dismiss what does not serve your desired reality. Practice discernment, non-judgment, and divine neutrality. Death. Many physical deaths and departures this year, some as part of the revelation process. Death of the old self, lower vibrational, mental, egoic, and emotional structures, old beliefs and narratives, personal and collective. Remember this affects all levels of consciousness, not just physical death. Revelation. There is a lot of positive energy around revelation. The new light penetrating where there was darkness. Narratives, beliefs, and distorted structures, collective and personal, will be challenged. Many narrative flips, revelations, and unexpected turns for the better. Note, how you deal with personal or collective revelations indicates your spiritual maturity. Please show the way and treat all with compassion and kindness. Transfiguration, genuine and palpable transformation of the infinite Christ heart, crystalline DNA and light body for the next phase of collective resurrection. Last year's reunification with the I Am Presence Activated a new trajectory for many. This is our next step. Treat all these themes with higher perspective. Do you see how these are all interconnected and divinely synchronized to provide a new experience for all willing hearts? Stargates will be strongest on equinoxes and solstices this year. Great unified activations with Gaia and the cosmic realms. Plan to be on your sacred power spots or gateways during these passages. I am sending everyone the divine blessings and grace of this sacred season. In love, light, and service, from SandraWalter.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. The power of love is sweeping through humanity as hearts open to a much higher degree, and our consciousness rises to embrace all that is, and separation and alienation vanish and vaporize. We are becoming aware that whenever and whatever way we harm others, whether through our thoughts, our words, our actions, and the energy we emit, we in truth only harm ourselves. We are becoming aware that whatever we so desperately sought outside ourselves is indeed within ourselves and has always been. We are becoming aware of our co-creatorship, our own divinity, our own unique role and place within the greater whole. The more we expand into oneness, the more the inner joy arises, the love within expands, as we fully learn to embrace life and live more abundantly. This includes all facets of life and living, known and unknown, visible and invisible, finite and infinite. In truth, creation is living, loving, and breathing through us. Our consciousness will now expand beyond all which we ever even were conscious of as existing. Prepare yourself to be stretched beyond all limitations you ever felt or believed existed. 
Embrace Boundlessness Infinity Ad Infinitum from JudithKusel.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn 144, God Code, The Divine Masculine and Feminine Christ are connecting spiritually. They can communicate in higher realms and together make a plan to attain physical connection. Listen to the strategy entering, helping bring these solutions. Continue setting boundaries with external distractions so you can faithfully walk on your own personal path into union. This is your love story together. Trust that you both know exactly what needs to be done to manifest this. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Sister of Light, Tanya Gabrielle. Welcome the first Friday the 13th in 2023. Contrary to superstition, Friday the 13th is a positive day of transformation and joy, celebrating Venus and the Divine Feminine Frequency. On this Friday the 13th, Venus and 13 are especially magnified. Venus will be exactly at 13 degrees Aquarius. This is an extraordinary opportunity to embrace love, harmony, empowerment, transformation, and abundance. From TanyaGabrielle.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Sun in Capricorn, Sextile Neptune in Pisces. Our imagination lifts us from the mundane realities of life to a place of inspiration. But to achieve our dreams, we must be prepared to do the work. This aspect is akin to the old saying, the gods help those who help themselves. Embrace your vision. The more you apply yourself, the greater the sense of purpose. Life feels more meaningful when you recognize that what you do makes a difference. Small steps towards fulfillment may feel like a drop in the ocean, but they have the potential to create waves. Trust the divine timing of the universe. Every day is a miracle. Practice loving compassion, transcend perceived limitations, make time for creativity, tune into the subtle dimensions, honor the holy light within, be the peace you want to see. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from Divine Brawl, Thor of the Light, Sean Caulfield, Friday the 13th, 13 Eagle, Maine, Let Go and Ascend. Today's energy of eagle resonates to heightened aspiration and taking new aim. Thirteen assists with ascending over the horizon to the next stage of growth. It is time to see the larger view by being complete to the process within. From Jaguar Wisdom, 13th January 2023, 13, Zikin, Maine. In some highland Mayan towns, 13, Zikin, was widely celebrated as the great day to ask a how, the divine power for prosperity. Since just about everyone wants more prosperity in life, it was a pretty popular day. Even if you got up before dawn, you could go to all the shrines and still not find space at any of the altars, because everyone in town was already there. This is the day to express your intention for more abundance in your life. How does one create abundance? by giving thanks, even if you believe that you have nothing. At one ceremony, my teacher called out the names of all 20-day signs and told the two of us who were working with her to say a prayer out loud, giving thanks for each one, even and especially the day signs that we felt to be personally rather difficult to deal with. We create abundance by praising the world for its beauty. From RockArtGallery.com and today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 240, Yellow Rhythmic Sun. The number six is called Rhythmic and its keywords are Organize, Equality, and Balance. These days are always really handy. They are great for getting yourself organized. Ask yourself what needs sorting out in your life and then get on with it. Rhythmic days are about finding balance, being practical, and striving for equality. Take advantage of this helpful energy and you'll be better prepared for the rest of the wave spell. Today is yellow sun which represents enlightenment, life and universal fire. This makes for a lovely combination of a day and number. Organize enlightenment. Expect to have moments today where ideas just pop into your head. 
This is great for problem solving, and if you are consciously journeying through this Blue Eagle wave spell, today will provide an opportunity to fly very close to the sun. Be creative with what you see. This day can also be useful for organizing education, of course. If you have an earning for learning, today is perfect for attending a lecture or booking a class. Seek the knowledge you desire and you will find it. Today's guide is also the yellow sun and so a very bright day which is great for illuminating our paths. When any day in the Zolkin is guided by itself, this means the day's energy is doubled and the meaning of the day is simplified. No external guiding force to put on a different spin on the day. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Rhythmic Sun, 6 Ahau, Keen 240, 13th of January 2023, Organizing for Enlightenment, 13 1 2023, equal 417, equal 48, equal 12, equal 3, 48, equal 444, Day Codes 13, Goddess, Cosmic Consciousness, Natural lore, synchronic time, four form, structure, foundation, earth, angelic, twelve, acquiring spiritual wisdom, strength, three, holy trinity, joy, creativity, month, year codes, one, new beginnings, original, unique, leader, independent, seven, spiritual test, initiation, solitude, magic, mystic, magician, eight, infinite, abundant, source, flow, 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen 240 equal 24 code equal 6. Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Romance. Keen number 240 equal 6 in Tone of Creation equal 6. Rhythmic 66 six, Christ Consciousness Code plus the Double Sun, Glory Be. Friday the 13th. Today's date is very fortuitous as the 13 is the frequency of the goddess and activates cosmic consciousness. The 13 is aligned with the divine feminine and our psychic gifts. It helps us align with natural lore, synchronicity, and supernatural events. As the 13 bestows great power traditionally, the 13th has been branded as evil in order to deter people from accessing this frequency. Contrary to superstition, Friday the 13th is a positive day of transformation and joy, celebrating Venus and the Divine Feminine Frequency. On this Friday the 13th, January 2023, Venus and 13 are especially magnified, as Venus will be exactly at 13 degrees Aquarius. Aquarius heralds in the new golden Aquarian age, and this aspect activates the new era of love. The moon is in Libra, the peace-loving sign that seeks harmony in relationships. Libra is ruled by Venus and is a very sensitive romantic sign, all aligning with the goddess qualities as we build the new era. This is an extraordinary opportunity to embrace love, harmony, empowerment, transformation, and abundance. Happy Goddess Friday the 13th, beloveds. It's time to dance with your divine feminine future self. Day 6 in the Blue Eagle Wave Spell where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture, the divine plan for humanity, so that we can create it, envisioning the highest timeline for ourselves and our planet as our visionary powers. And third eye are awakened and activated. It is time for a mass awakening of humanity. Day 6 of the Blue Eagle Wave Spell accompanied by a double yellow sun, a hugely insightful day for our God Buddha consciousness vantage point. Today we are organizing to balance our life so that we can attain that divine zero point neutrality where all is equal and all is one. And we have balance with the goddess divine feminine energies aligning with this double sun Buddha consciousness yang masculine code. A union of the genders, a very powerful and insightful day for aha moments, epiphanies and breakthroughs are highly possible. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm, action organize, power balance, essence equality. The sixth day of the Blue Eagle wave spell is the one that brings balance. The rhythmic phase is where this all adventuring, radiating miracle learns to walk. 
but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts, and what superb balance we see. Today we learn to independently find our own balance through our own connection to Source. When you do what you love and let your spirit soar like the eagle, you shine brightly like the sun. Shine the spotlight on the people, circumstances, and environments that give you clarity and assist you in attaining a balanced life. It is time to reignite our full remembrance of our God Self, awakening our inner fire and light. Devote your life purpose to the divine in order to express your own unique spark of the creative source. Fly high and shine bright, angelic Sophia Christed winged ones, reflecting your inner glory. Celebrate the radiant being that you are as the center of your own universe. Today's question is how can I balance any inequalities in my life and world, restoring order, so that I and we can realize unconditional love and nirvana? Espavo, beloveds, thank you for taking back your power. In la ket shalakin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 240, Yellow Rhythmic Sun, the mantra the code for today is... I activate in order to enlighten. Balancing life, I seal the matrix of universal fire with the rhythmic tone of equality. I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sistar of the Light, Sheila Sempek for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sistar. We appreciate you and your continued support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so thank you all very much. We appreciate each and every one of you, and if you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful code from Divine Brother of the Light, Lee Parale, Polaris, 13th Gate, Alignment, Consciousness, Access Point, North Star, Time, Frequency, Portal, Central Sun, Rising Tide, Timeline, Living Library, Soul Spark, First Light, True Eye, Procession, Grand Cycle, Celestial Tone, Harmonic, Light Bridging Realms, Eight Gates, Nine Worlds, Tree of Life Sigils, North Star Trajectory, Threshold Crossing, Spiral Creation, Planetary Grid, Rods of God, Triple Flame, Heart Altar, Magi Grail Shaman, King of Swords, Seed Initiators, Jedi Codex, Blue Flame, Logos Polaris Gate, Dragon Luminaries, Mother Ark Portal, Trinity Womb Gate, Sphere of Amenti, Resurrection, Natural Law, Isis Osiris, Emerald, Horus Rose and Set in the West, Hail Zeus Empire, Inverted Womb, Dark Ones and Planetary Shields, Access Reality Field, Consciousness Slayed, Colonized, Weaponized, Lockdown Takedown, Winner Takes It All. 
Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed Friday the 13th and sacred weekend ahead as we continue our journey through this ascension portal. And as the goddess rises, we rise with her. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.